So we're inside of our header.handlebars. Let's style this to make it look a little different. So we're going to be using Boma to style it. And at this moment in time, we are instead going to remove this H1 and H2. We'll be adding it back in a moment. But instead, we'll be giving our header the class of hero and is primary. Hero allows us to have a large header section and it can be used in other areas than the header, but you will see this in a second when we add both a hero head and a hero body. So if we add a div with the class of hero head and the class of hero body. Once we save our file and refresh, you can see that we now have this sort of green at the top. With Bama, we can change things up and we can use things like is info to use this blue color. We have is warning for a yellow color and a variety of others. Let's stick to is primary for now. And we could, of course, change this if we wanted to. But inside of our header, I want to add a nav bar. So that can be done with a nav and I'll give it the class of nav bar and also is primary. Once we save this, you'll see that this gets a little larger because now it's adding a nav bar as well as this hero element. Inside of our nav bar, we'll have a div with the class of nav bar menu. Later in the course, we'll come to looking at navigation and adding some navigation items to this menu. But for now, I simply want to add an A tag. So an anchor with the class of nav bar item. And we'll add some text to this, so item, and we'll use a dollar, and outside of our squiggly braces, we'll use an asterisk, and we'll add four items. So what I'm using here is I'm using something called Emmet. I have a video on my YouTube channel about Emmet, you should check it out if you haven't already. And what this allows you to do is really condense the HTML that we write, and allow us to be much more expressive. So it doesn't really matter what we href these things to, so we simply are going to put a slash in each one of them. Now that we've added our navbar items, if we refresh our page when we have this small, nothing happens. So we need to expand this out and you will see that we have item one through to item four. So how do we come to changing this so we can view these menu items on a mobile device or a smaller screen, should I say? And this can be done by adding a navbar burger. So let's add a div on top of the navbar menu with the class of navbar dash burger. We'll add three spans inside of this. And when we save our file, we should then have a navbar burger. But what I want to do is add a container around all of these things. And this will just constrain the size of the navbar burger as well as sorting out our current positioning issues. So if we move both the burger and the menu inside of this container and we refresh our page, we should then see that we have our navbar burger. I'm quite zoomed in, so it does look a bit strange when we are zoomed in, so don't worry about that. It's just because I'm zoomed in to 200, 300%, but on your screen, it should look sound. So we now have a burger, we now have a navbar menu, but how do we link these things together? Well, before we look at that in detail, what I want to do is add back the navbar title, and that's gonna be done inside of the hero body. So once again, we can add a container. Inside of the container, I want to add a H1 with the class of title, and a H2 with the class of subtitle. So inside of our H1 and our H2, we need to put the blog title and the blog description. Do you remember how we did that? If you do, slot it in now, but if not, we're gonna do it in a second, and that's done with two braces and at blog.title and at blog.description. So once we save this, we can then see that we have our blog title and we also have a description for our blog. At this moment in time, I'm happy with our implementation, but we need to get this navbar menu working. This will require some JavaScript. 
but I don't want to just put JavaScript in here. What I want to do is add a build step with things like Webpack and Babel. This will allow us to write consistent JavaScript across the board if we need to add other things, and it's something we'll look at in future modules. So for now, don't worry about the fact that our navbar burger doesn't work, it will in the future. So that's our header, we'll come back to customizing this in future lectures. Let's move on to the body and other content.